Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in, grab a beverage, relax. We're going to do some fun creating tonight. I'll probably lose some stuff. We'll play our little game. We'll take a sip whenever I <laughs> find it. And uh, we're going to create a beautiful card. So um, I am inspired tonight by a card that I got. Uh, it's a birthday card that I received in the last video. I showed... Um, I don't know, it was over 30 cards that I received in the mail. Most of them are birthday cards. And um, after that, I got more. <laughs> Just a few more came trickling in. So the one I'm going to do tonight is actually based on one that came in the mail today. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun with it. Um, Jennifer compiled a list um, in our last video. There were a number of fun fold cards that I got funny how that works. Um, and so I have a list of future fun folds that we'll be doing together. Um, but I'm excited to share this one with you tonight. So I hope you're doing well. Uh, just a quick reminder that if you have not subscribed to my free project sheets, I'd invite you to do so. You can go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe. And every so often, usually uh, two, three times a month, I send out some an email with some free inspiration. Right. So if you need some creative inspiration, you're welcome to uh, subscribe uh, to uh, just go to SueStanfield.com and click on subscribe and I'll drop that in your email box. If you have subscribed and you're not getting the emails, please email me Susan at SueStanfield.com. Sometimes it's on my email providers end, and perhaps we can get that sorted out so that you can start getting those free project sheets. All right, let's go ahead and get started tonight. Um, I'm going to flip my camera around. Sure I am. I had a few camera issues, so we're doing it a little bit different way. So fingers crossed that everything will work fine. There is my desk. Woohoo. I think that's working. So tonight we're going to um, use this Around the Bend bundle hard to say too many bees <laughs> around the bend bundle this is from the mini catalog it is absolutely gorgeous uh, the winnie mini catalog is winding down here it ends in may 1st so um it is uh last chance for some of these things so i wanted to play give this another play now i used this for one of our crafternoon fun fold cards um, so this is the flying finch fun fold card this is the march featured fun fold this is a fold that i dreamed up in my head <laughs> and i love it um, it opens up like this it stands for display it's like a bird in flight similar to but different from last month's um, uh, the February uh, fl um, flying sequel card. Um, I've had a couple people confused about the difference. Uh, the There is completely different measurements on these two cards. As you can see, the flying seagull is more of a horizontal and the um, flying finch is more of a vertical. The flying seagull is a four by four square on the front of the card. It opens up like this and stands for display. The um, let me grab a different one here. The flying finch is perfect for your six by six papers because you can put a three by six panel in here and get two cards out of each uh, each sheet. So different fold, uh, similar construction. And um, the information for this one, it's on my blog, suestampfield.com. I have a, um, a video tutorial. And I also have uh, written PDF tutorials that you can purchase for all five versions of the card if you want to do that. So we've got our Around the Bend stamp set and our Around the Bend dies here. And let me show you the card I received in the mail. Um, this came from my team member, Linda Larson. Um, and so she sent me this card so you can see that she used this fun around the bend dies. So these dies are um, have curves. Um, so they go around the bend, right? They're all about curves. And this one, I use the curf, curved leafy die. And so we're gonna make a, a version. So here's, here's what's fun about this card. It's a trifold. So you open the flap and then open up the card like that. Isn't that super fun? So we're gonna recreate this card with some different products. We are actually going to use the uh, By the Bay uh, designer series paper and the Seaside Bay bundle. 
Um, actually, I'm using the stamp. So I'm I'm doing the, I'm double duty tonight. We're going to use this one, um, and we're going to use the by the bay paper. They were I couldn't resist using the seaside dies as well because they're back in stock. Many of you have been waiting for those dies to come back, and they are now back in stock. They came in early. They weren't due till next week. And Stampin' Up holds some magic, and they are here. So yay! So we're going to make a fun flap card here. Um, we've done lots of fun things with the, the By the Bay um, products. We did a lot of these um, four in a row cards um, that have, uh, you can see the seashell there from the seashell die. So um, so that is, is um, awesome. I can't zoom on this camera, darn it. <laughs> so I can only do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Oh, here's another... Um, this one is a flying seagull card that featured the um, By the Bay Designer Series paper and the Seaside Bay dies. So they're just really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and get going here. So I have, oh, things are falling. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's pretty typical for around here. Okay, I... I need to put this in a bit. Okay, there we go. I don't want to lose that card because that's one of the fun folds we want to do. So let's go ahead and grab our cardstock here and get started. So I have three pieces of cardstock. One is for our card base. And as you might imagine, it is just your standard. I'm going to raise this up just a bit, which means you're going to see a little bit of my mess. Got some shells cut over here. I was just having fun cutting shells. <laughs> So we have um, eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper. By the way, I totally forgot to mention, I am uh, pre-recording this video uh, because I am actually uh, down at the Christmas tree farm um, uh, having a cabin getaway with my sister for uh, my post-birthday fun. Um, so I am pre-recording this video. Uh, Jennifer is here in the comments hanging out. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, my moderator, Jennifer Walsh, is here to help. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to do the at, uh, um, at symbol and type Jennifer and her name should pop up and um, we can get any questions you have sorted out. She might have to check with me. Um, I, I hope to tune in, but we don't have any power <laughs> at the cabin. No, you know, it's um, we have a cast iron stove that we cook on and we have um, a portable battery that we use for the lights, but um, no running water and no electricity. So it is truly uh, roughing it. So I don't know if I'll be able to tune in or not. It just depends on if I have access. But um, so this piece of white is three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I want to score this. I forgot to do that. So we're going to do that together. And then this one is five and a half inches by three. And this is Knight of Navy. So um, the card is constructed where you have the card, but it opens, it's upside down. <laughs> and then you do a separate piece that we're going to adhere on here for the flap. I guess you could almost call this a, a flap trifold, right? Um, let's see. Susan needs a scoring device. All right. Um, <laughs> over in this pile to the left. I see it peeking out. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's really messy here, guys. It's so messy. Found it. We found it. Take a sip, everyone. I've got water in my cup. Let me know what's in your cup tonight. Mm. Yummy ice water. My favorite. All right. I'm going to lift the flap here. And I want to score this at, um, I'm going to put the left side at three inches. Remember, this piece was three and a half. And I'm going to score it. I don't want the cutting blade because that would be an oops. I'm going to score it at a half inch. Okay, so I just scored a little half inch portion here on this side. And now we're ready to bring in our die cutting machine and we can do a little bit of die cutting. So, all right, that means, Sue, that means you need to make some, make some room here. All right, let's just clear the deck. All right, I'm gonna use the big machine. I don't know why. Maybe I should use the mini one. That would probably fit in here better. But all right, the big one's what I grabbed. So um, I have my piece here that was three and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to take this die, this one right here. And with these dies, these um, cut an edge. Okay. 
So one edge of the die is going to have the, the raised cutting blade on, and you need to find where that is. On this one, it's the one next to the stitching. And here's my score line. That's on one side. I want it to cut the other end of this um, paper. And it's going to cut it at a curve. Um, I am just uh, shifting the die around until almost all of the die covers this um, edge here. And then this one is also covered. So I just tilted it until the die was going off the paper on both ends. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm down to almost the very bottom edge of this piece, which is perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and send this through. And if I'm lucky, I have a... <laughs> I'll have a take your pick tool handy to uh, get this stuff brushed out. So um, I'm going to pull this top plate off. So I've got my little sliver here that I've uh, cut off. That's kind of cool, actually. I probably could save that for another card. I probably won't because if I saved every scrap, oh my gosh, I'd have to move. <laughs> But you could, right? You could. So we've got our die. Can you see how it cut that fun curved edge? Right like so. And then it's got these um, little circles and uh, things that it uh, uh, punched out. Now you can see there's still some, some chads hanging on in there. So we're going to get rid of those. Hanging chads. I don't want them. So I'm going to take my Cheek Your Pick tool with the die brush attachment. And I'm just going to gently roll these on out. Now, if I was doing this video live, I would be asking your opinion on what designer paper pattern we be, we're going to use. But I'm going to have to wing it, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I have to go my, go my own way here. So, uh, all right. Let's put that aside. I still hope you tell me in the comments which one you would have picked. If what I pick is different than you, what you would have chosen. Because I do look at the comments. And so I like to see what your preferences are. All right, I'm just being a good girl and getting my die somewhat cleaned out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, some of the little circles cut all the way and some of them just emboss little circle impressions in the paper. Um, that's how it's supposed to be, so don't be worried if all right. <laughs> I'm trying to get all these little bits off of there. All right, because we need we have some more die cutting we need to do. But first, we're going to set this aside and do a little bit of assembly. So I'm going to scooch that over here. All right, so where's my card got off to? Ah, found it. It wasn't even that very much buried, but we'll take a drink anyway because we like to hydrate. Am I right, friends? Okay, so here we go. We've got this fun little flap back here, um, but we're also going to be um, we're going to be using this again uh, to die cut another piece. So where that that where to go? That's hiding behind the dies. This happens to me all the. Does this happen to anyone else? Because oh my gosh. I'll have it in my hand, seriously, and then I turn around 10 minutes later and it's completely vanished. So we have our piece of Knight of Navy here. Now, I think I cut this too short. Hmm. Well, I guess I could just move it down, right? But I feel like I should have cut it. I think I should have cut this one at three and a half too. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. You can fix it. All right, scratch that, <laughs> and I will. I will uh, get Jennifer the correct mentions here. Um, so earlier, if you see uh, a post and this had a different dimension, let's try it at, at three and a half. That's going to give us more more wiggle room, and that kind of makes more sense. Easier to remember, right? Because this one was three and a half by five. And now this one is three and a half by five. So that's cool. All right. And we're going to cut this one as well because there is another die in the set that perfectly matches this one. It, as far as the curve follows the, it follows along with that curve. So we're going to use that one. Um, some of the other dies, I showed you the leafy one that was on that other card. This one is just a curved piece that you could do on anything. 
and then lots of fun flowers and leaves in here. And they are really cool how these leaves emboss. Um, this is the fine shimmer paper. And so it embossed the little veins right in the leaves. Super cool. All right, so we're gonna die cut this one. So let's bring our die cutting machine back into play. It didn't go very far. It was just on my chair, so it was out of our way. I stand when I stamp. Um, I do a lot better when I stand. I, things become straighter. <laughs> oh, you know what? I needed to glue this on. Okay, that's all right. We can still do that. Where did my tape runner go? Up. Oh, it was hiding under the roll of ribbon. Found it. Take a sip. Ah, oh, so good. All right, and I'm just going to take uh, my tape runner here. This is the Stampin' Up! Seal, um, or use what your preferred choice is. Now, I'm not going to go very far down because I've got all these holes here, right? So I don't want any glue on the, the whole part. Uh, you can put another piece here if you wish. Um, but we're just going to put that ad adhesive on there, and then we're going to snuggle this up right up next to that score line and just adhere this uh, navy. Piece so that when you look at it from the front, you can see that navy behind. Okay. All right. Can I get it? Eh, it's mostly straight. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to cut the little scallopy edge. Now you wouldn't have to use navy. You know, I love navy and white. What can I say? It's just so crisp and clean and refreshing. I don't know. Um, but any, you know, you could do, a, it depends what you're doing, right? It could do a lot of colors and you can see that this card could be anything. <laughs> it could be a graduation card in the school colors. It could be, uh, you know, whatever. It's just kind of a, um, at this point, a fun decoration. We're going to make ours with a seaside theme, but you can, oh, Susan, all right. It's time, friends. We need a post-it note. Good heavens. How many times did it move on me? You're gonna hit me over the head with an anvil to figure these things out. I think. All right, I'm gonna line up my scallop so it's about the same um, scallopy thickness. <laughs> What's the word? Scallopness? Uh, Oh my goodness, I'm getting punchy now. Um, the, the scallops are about the same size. That is what I am trying to say, and I am not saying it very well. Okay, I've got that on there, and we're going to pop this in. And I can move my take your pick tool. Oh, <laughs> I just cracked myself up. <clears throat> Sorry, my adhesive just fell on the floor. I was just trying to hide so that we could have another sip. All right. I'm going to crank this through. All right. I feel like I made that way harder than it was. Sorry, guys. Oh, so funny. All right, here we go. So we got this. I'm taking this post-it note off. And so it made that pretty scallop. Isn't that cool? And then we still have this leftover piece that, you know, was going to kind of match this left or you could do a fun card with that couldn't you uh, yeah I don't know it looks like a wave like it still could go with our whole sea thing mm, hanging on to that all right so I got a little bit of goopy here on my um my crisp white I gotta just clean that off all right so that one doesn't want to come off come on yes you do there you go all right so now I am ready to do a little stamping Sure you are, Sue. Oh gosh, here it is. Oh, found it. <laughs> this is the, um, the Stampin' Pierce mats from the catalog. It's hard to find. Um, maybe Jennifer can drop us the page number on that one. Um, but it's really handy when you have photopolymer stamps. And so we're going to use a stamp image from the set that matches this around the bend because guess what? It follows the curve, right? So we're going to use that you are a blessing, just like Linda did on the card she sent me. Uh, I'm going to do it in navy, of course, because I've got the navy and white going. So I'm going to open up the navy pad here and ink up this you are a blessing message. And we're going to just stamp. Oh, whoops. I didn't do a very good job of inking that up. That's one of the advantages of uh, photopolymer stamps that you see through. You can tell if you don't have it inked up properly. 
you can also follow that curve with your stamp, right? You know, see it right through the block. So we've got that. You are a blessing. So let's go back to our card here. I'm going to just close this up before I put something important in it. <laughs> I might even put it away. <gasps> what? Yes, it's true. I put it away. Can you believe it? All right. So we're going to adhere this flap to our card. But remember, we're going to do it backwards. So we're going to put the fold side down and we're going to adhere the flap to the back so that it, we make a trifold card so that it opens up like that. So I'm going to take the flap here and I'm going to, going to adhere some uh, adhere. Yeah, I'm going to put some tear and tape on it. I don't want my flap falling off. So I'm going to go with the very strong and easy to use tear and tape. You just tear it off. That's hence the name. And I'm going to press this. Uh, it's just easier to get the backing off if you use your take your pick tool and give it a good press before you pull it up. So we're going to pull that off. And then that is going to go right here. So I'm just taking my folded card. Oh, sure you are, Sue. <laughs> Take my folded card and just attach it to that flap. Okay, so I just glued it on. And it's white on white, so it kind of blends in in the back. And there we have our trifold card. I'm going to give this a good um, rub with my bone folder. That's going to help uh, adhere that tear and tape. It's also going to flatten my flap a bit. Flatten my flap? Sure. <laughs> Why am I doing alliteration tonight? It must be because of the stamp put up colors night of maybe and then flatten the flap. All right. So there we have a card. Now that is actually really pretty. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe I should stop there. Oh my gosh. You could take this super gorgeous ribbon. What's it called? Bordered? Uh, bah, 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 bah. What's it called? Yeah, bordered ribbon and night of navy for the mini catalog. You could tie that up there, and oh my gosh, that would be a gorgeous card. You could put a panel of uh, embossing right here, uh, and that just does a little something, something extra. That would be a great. You could stop right there. You would be done. You could also put a designer series paper there, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then we might throw on a few other little fun things. So I've got a couple pieces pulled out of the by the bay paper. So this is the one that I was thinking of um, using. Super pretty with these sweeps of color in it. It's just gorgeous. Um, but you know, I also could use um, this one here. Also super pretty. And then that one, you know, if I was using this one, maybe I would have not done navy on the border because that kind of disappears a little bit. But this one opens up and you could see that seascape, um, which would be really pretty. So um, you could also use the other side of this, which has these fun um, shimmered lines in it. So many choices. Mm -mm -mm. Could even use the back side of this if I'd done balmy blue here for this. It just has the different... Um, sea critters <laughs> sea creatures um there's also another one um with the same um, swoops <laughs> of of color in the gold um and you could you know pick up the um the petal pink or the mint macaron or pool party or the balmy blue there um for your your uh, scallop and for your stamping um but i'm gonna go ahead and use oh, i'm gonna drop this <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to drop that. Goodness. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, pattern right here. So I'm going to cut that down and let's, um, this it was just a regular card base. So this is uh, five and a half by four and a quarter, this piece right here. And so this will be uh, a quarter inch smaller. So it's going to go four by five and a quarter. Let's bring our handy dandy paper trimmer back in here. Uh, this one, um, let's see, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that pink for just, I don't know, what if you were making this card, would you do this side that has that pink sploosh in it? Or would you flip it around and do the more, the, the 
the more blues side, <laughs> the side with the more blues that would be the appropriate way to say that wouldn't it um maybe i'll do that did i do that um i don't know it's just you know whatever let's let's do it that way let's do it that way why not all right four inches <laughs> all right so we've got this fun piece left over and then we're going to turn this and we're going to cut this at five and a quarter right there and you also could have cut off this side if you wanted more of that blue in you know totally up to you and let's bring our card in here so this is what it's going to look like with the designer paper behind it so let's add that in okay does anyone see where susan put the adhesive because oh <laughs> it was right under that hiding tricky ha found it take a sip everyone mm. i am um uh, we're getting lots of hydration tonight aren't we oh goodness gracious all right there we go and you could do this either way you could do the pink at the top um like so i'm gonna do the pink at the bottom because i feel like i like the curves going that way they just seem to match this curve a little better doesn't really matter but we're gonna do that i think the other one i made i think i cut the other side of the paper so now we'll have two that are slightly different and i'll show you that one in a bit here so we've got our pretty pattern down here um, we're gonna add a shell um so remember we had this piece of paper left over we're gonna bring in um all right i'm <laughs> i'm running out of space because because I'm Susan and that's that's how I roll. I'm Sue Stanfield and I use up all my space. All right, so we're gonna grab our mini machine because gosh darn it, it takes up a whole lot less room. And I'm gonna grab the number one plate here and the number two plates. And I'm gonna take this pretty, pretty paper right here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna grab my dies. Hurrah! So these are the By the Bay dies. As I mentioned, these have been on back order for quite a while. They are now back in stock and are orderable again, which means you can get that awesome bundle um, that has all the matching stamps, all the things. I'm going to cut a couple shells here. I think I want to pick up a little bit of this gold, um, or I could do like more of this gold over here and get a little bit of that blue. Oh, that might be kind of fun. Mm, so many good choices yeah let's let's go over here and see what this looks like you can always cut more shells you could do the soft blue in the shells that would probably be more accurate <laughs> accurate accurate shells i don't know it's stamping we can do whatever we want okay it's not working for me because i did it wrong did, were you guys yelling at me on the camera saying susan you forgot to push that center plate back like so you have to stagger the plates and then it cuts like butter right so it's going to crank right through then no problem just have to pay attention and do it the right way and i was not <laughs> all right so we're going to pull this out here's a fun little shell right here so we got a little pink it embossed the shell lines i don't know if the camera's picking that up and a little bit of blue on there let's see what the other one looked like because you get two shells in one crank so this one didn't want to come out of the die oh there it is oh that one's really pretty with some blue on there a little bit of green some of that gold so we've got our two shells i'm going to put these back on my paper here i'm going to cut this bird out just for fun you could do the little birds too and stamp them and put them in there that would be really cute i'm going to be uh, well maybe i should do that i was going to die cut out this bird from the paper and put him on the inside but hang on hang on where is my seaside bay ah found it <gasps> found it take a sip everyone all right this is the seaside bay stamp set and i'm gonna grab these tweety birds <laughs> i haven't even got them all yet i got part of this uh, part of the set labeled but the others are still hanging out on the in the thing so all right Let's stamp these little birds on the inside of our card just for fun. So pop them on a block here. Now, if you wanted to pop them up, you could stamp them. There's a die, die that matches that. You could die cut them out. 
um, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to stamp them right down here at the bottom. Right like so. Um, should we do them? You know what? I'll just do it in Night of Navy. I'm kind of making a monochromatic card. Um, they would also be cute in some other colors. I think it maybe like Sahara Sand or something like that. All right. I'm going to... I think I'm done with the die cutting machine. I'm going to pop that back up here and get it out of our way. Let's move something out of our way. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Let's just ink these guys up. Now these are not see-through. That was the other set that was around the bend. I'm using a, this is a bundle twofer on this, this card because I wanted to use the, the, I wanted to welcome back the by the bay bundle. So I just got my little birds um, there on the inside and I'm going to close this up. I'm not sure what happened here. I got a little smudgy. That's all right. It's one of a kind handmade card, right? That's the important part. Now you could put some sentiments from the set um, in here. Uh, <clears throat> the, you know, got the you are the blessing on the front. So you could do thank you for everything on the inside. You are a pearl rare and precious. Um, you could do, you are a blessing, happy birthday. I mean, so many options, right? So I'm going to close this up and we're going to finish off our card. So we have, you can see this, this is a little bouncy. When you get an envelope, it'll be nice and flat. And when it goes through the, <laughs> the mailer roller, it will really flatten it out. Um, if you wanted to put a magnet closure on this, you totally could. Um, we've got our fun shells here. I really like this one that's got the blue, the little bit of gold on it. And so I'm gonna pop that up on a mini dimensional, which by some miracle are right on the top of my <laughs> heaping pile of stuff to the right of my. <laughs> that's a really good thing you can't see my whole stamp room. You would be appalled. Oh my goodness, such a mess. All right, I've got my mini dimensional on here and I'm just gonna pop my shell right in the corner, just a little something, something there. And then we're gonna add a bow across the top. Um, now we could do, um, we could do that bordered ribbon that we looked at earlier, like so. In fact, I had, well, who knows where it wandered off to. Probably moved it before I started the video. I had one already tied in a knot before the, oh, found it. Here it is over here. Yeah, here it is. So you could tie, um, you know, what do you guys think about that? We could just do a knot. Um, we could do it here next to the, the greeting. We could do it above the greeting. Um, we could also take, uh, this is actually part, I believe, um, in the mini catalog where we find the Seaside Bay um, Suite. We have this really pretty variegated ribbon that's foamy blue and white. And so we could wrap that around. We could tie it in a knot and add it in. Let me know in the comments what you would do for if this were your card. I'm just going to try this and see what I think. And the, the, you know, this navy certainly does match our navy at the top, but the softer blue gives it a little bit softer look. I'm going to go ahead and do this. My other card, I use the other ribbon, so you'll be able to see both options. So I'll purposely do this one a little different so that uh, we have a couple of options to look at. So um, go ahead and tie this in a knot. And Need a couple more fingers to tie those bows, right? So it's going to pull that nice and snug and tight. And then go ahead and just trim the ends here. And there we have our card. So you are a blessing. Opens up like this. You can see all that pretty. Got our little shell down here. And then our birds on the inside and a space to write to stamp your inside message. So that is one version. Let me show you the one I did before I started the video. That was this one right here. So I used that, um, the lighter color ribbon across the top. And the because I turned the paper when I cut it, I cut the other end of the paper, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, it had more of the blues down here. So I think that lighter ribbon um, 
looks really nice, but you know, it's, I, you know, either would be a fine choice. So this one is a little bit softer and paler card. And then again, we have our little shell here. And then this one, I did die cut out the bird um, from the, um, the dies. And you could, I played around with like cutting some sand for the bird to stand on. And it's here somewhere. <laughs> oh, found it. <laughs> Gosh, Susan. Um, so this is a Sapisa Sahara sand cut with the dye that's in the By the Bay dyes, which cuts the um, the sand edge, I guess we would call it. Um, I also played around with cutting a couple shells. Let's find them. They're over here. Found it. Finding lots of things now. These were cut out of the wood grain paper. Um, and give you kind of this really subtle sh um, shell look. So those are going to pop out more on a, on a darker paper. Those would show up better than they would on white. But we absolutely could put them right here and have the shell on the sand. So um, lots of options. Let me know in the comments if you think there should be a shell in here and you think if you think we should have the sand inside. Let me know your thoughts on that. So those are our... Uh, um, our twofer, right? We're using two bundles on this card. Now this around the bend um, is the base of the card, right? Um, we could have done different designer papers and different things to embellish and, and um, accent it. Um, we just use the Seaside Bay bundle and the By the Bay papers to uh, give it a little bit of a sea theme. So thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, let me flip the camera here. Oh, look at that messy desk. <laughs> um, how do I do that on this one? Here we go. <gasps> there we go. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Again, uh, the project sheet email will be going out this coming week. So if you want to subscribe to that, you can do so. Uh, right here. And when you go to SueStanfield.com, you'll see my blog posts um, and the latest one about the um, the Flying Finch Fun Fold is up there and you can check that out. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Have a great evening, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.